Hello everyone, I just want to do a quick overview of this new method, I think new, that I have uh, found for uh, covering 3D parts in color or changing the color of a 3D part, in this case LBS. The method is called powder coating, it's very simple, for example here I have a 3D printed ABS part, this is transparent or natural ABS. The idea is that you take this part and dock it in a color powder, here. like this here I have prepared the color powder that I'm trying to use this is a sort of uh, grayish dark blue so you just dunk it eliminate a little of the residue this one is good and put it like this in your acetone smooth uh, excuse me in your, yeah in your acetone smoothing bath right so where does this powder come from um, I have uh, residues from different toners of color printers here. This is extracted from a failed toner in a laser printer. So this is a very fine powder. Obviously, uh, probably you can use any kind of powder. For the other parts, I will show you different kind of powders I'm using. What are the results of this method? Here I have some processes already parts. This is the natural part. This is the blue that I'm printing out of the 3 printer ABS. Here, this is the first try of trying to do some color changer or something like that. I use it as in marker. It's not very good. And you can see that there is a streaking and there is not really much difference between the uh, treated part and the natural color of the part after passing for the ABS uh, for the acetone uh, smoothing. It's another try. This is using the pure blue from the three print uh, from the printer. You can see there is already a change in color. Here is with the powder I, that I just showed you with this powder. The color is already better. I think it's darker compared to the natural color here. You can also do a drastic change of colors, so to speak. So here I'm. The base uh, part is the blue, and I just put the black pigment, black uh, powder from the laser printer. This is, I think, very good. The, the color is uniform. After you pass it to the ABS smoothing uh, procedure, the color goes inside the plastic, so to speak. So there is actually no residue here. This is as if the plastic was this color to begin with. Here are some experiments that I did with the procedure. This is actually uh, aluminum powder, very fine aluminum powder. You just dunk it, pass it from the, uh, put it in the ABS smoothing with the acetone, and after that you just clean it a little, sand it with a fine, a fine grit, and here is the result. There is some migration here. Uh, I have seen also this in epoxy that. In the parts where the aluminum powder got like in this corner, I think the aluminum powder kind of migrates to the sides. But I think this can be corrected with a geometry or a thicker code, or maybe if I use uh, silver or uh, another kind of color similar to the aluminum, this will be not as noticeable in the final print. This is another experiment that I did. This is with graphite, graphite powder, same procedure. Just dunk it in the in the graphite powder, and this is the final color. This is also very good, very smooth, very uniform color. And there is still a little residue from the graphite powder, but in general. I think the, the graphite is already uh, inside the plastic, so it's a permanent solution. Also in this case, for example, maybe this uh, code is conductive, this kind of uh, powder code. So you can do um, another metal on top of this one, maybe nickel or copper or something like that, with the electrodeposition procedure. 
you can go in reverse so here is the black part and this black part is treated with this kind of powder you notice that there is a difference in the color since the coat here is not so thick there is a blend between the base color of the part in this case black with the coating of the blue so it's a kind of darker blue I think this is already getting to the commercial part it's getting there and you also notice that there is some white streaks here some white blotches that are not uniform in color this is one of the things I have uh, seen in this procedure this part was printed like this I use hairspray in the bed so when this happened I think you read, uh, there is residue from the hairspray in the part I've solved this by simply taking a coarse grid sandpaper sanding a little and that removes the residue and this is not present in the last attempts that I have done at this method this is normal this this black part because I put PVA glue in this uh, area uh, to prevent this part from getting smooth since this is a mechanical joint this is another try uh, this is already the this part that, that I was doing the transparent part after passing by the uh, acetone smoothing you can see here another failing but uh, in some cases but I think I'm getting a little closer to the transparent blue that I want so this is good this is the protected part so here is the original color and you can see here the pigment penetrating in the plastic part uh, it's a little just just a, a little layer that is separated the failing here or, or the thing that I'm corrected in the current parts is I don't know if you can see clearly in the camera but there are irregularities in the color here there are some sort of uh, blue streaks uh, darker streaks of the color the reason for this is the powder gets uh, in between the lines of the 3D print and in that zone it gets darker than in the other parts and this is more uh, visible here that for example in this part because uh, this is a this already has a color in the base in the base plastic so if there are irregularities in the powder coating here it's not as evident as this part that is transparent so if there is a little thicker uh, layer here in the powder th this is visible in the end result but I think I'm getting close to the final result that's all I think the, the procedure is very useful you can try maybe other type of uh, powders bronze powder steel powder I think they are possible given that at least aluminum powder works also the kind of pigment that can be used I think it's uh, already uh, showed that it can be many things the, the thing I'm using here as the printer powder is because the thing I have at hand uh, also for example color printers don't have white powder uh, white uh, pigment because obviously the, the pages are black so what I'm using here for, for combining a little white in this to do a kind of gray tone is using titan titanium dioxide and, and with that you can add, add the white color here that's all, thank you, I hope the procedure is useful for you, bye